Hey guys, it's Kathy and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to share with you how you can create and how to use this gingerbread math activity. Guys, we have it for your preschooler as well as your early elementary student. So stay tuned and I'll show you how we work this into our homeschool day as well as how to create this activity. Um, before we get into that, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. If this is your first time stopping by, my name's Kathy. I'm a homeschool mama of two little girls and I love sharing all things homeschool, lifestyle, uh, motherhood, and DIY. So if that's up your alley, then I would love it if you were to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on that notification bell because I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So you don't want to miss out. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So this activity today that I'm gonna share with you guys, it is like right up my alley because it marries together my love for homeschool as well as my love for crafting. So I was able to create this fun math activity that you can actually make it work for your family in so many different ways. I'm gonna share that with you. Um, one thing that's really important is that I was able to make this one craft, this one math activity, and it worked for my preschooler as well as my second grader. So. You can use that and you can um, make that work for whatever grade you have, a preschool or, um, or an early elementary student. It'll work perfect for both of them. I use gingerbread men, but again, you can use any holiday shape and you can actually do this particular craft for any time of the year. So if you wanna do this for Valentine's Day, you can do hearts. If you want to do it for you know Jan January for winter, you could actually do um, snowflakes. You can actually snowflakes now and that can carry into January. You can do four leaf clovers for March. You guys do sunflowers for April. You get the idea. Just keep on going and going. Flip flops for June and July. Fireworks for July. Oh my gosh. Like just, you get the idea, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we actually play this math activity game. Uh, I'll show you how I do it with my second grader as well as how I do it with my preschooler and then i'm going to show you the actual diy to create this because it's super easy you don't need a lot of materials to make it and um you can do it i know you can do it so let's go ahead and get started and show you how i actually use this activity all right, all right so we're going to play our gingerbread game so what you're going to do yeah! <laughs> you're ready yeah all right all right so here we go so we have our board here on the um, floor and then we ready? have our cards here so i want you to tell me Let's move these over to the side. Uh, I need help. I know you do. We're going to help you. All right. So what number is this? Five. Five. All right. Can you find a gingerbread that has five buttons on? Six. Nope. Not that one. That one. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. So you're going to match them on there. Six. Good job. All right. Let's try the next one. What number is that? Two. two. Six. That one has two. Six. Good job. All right, let's try the next one. Four, just like me, matching. You're four, just like you. All right, can you find one that has four dots? This one. C count them. Are there four? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, four. No, that's not four. Let's find another one that has four. Six. Let's try it. One, two, three, four, five, five. Nope, that's not four. Let's try another one. This one. One, two, three. Oh, nope. <laughs> I can't have it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nope, that's not it. Let's what? try another one. Careful, get off. Come off, come off the board. Come off the board. One, two, three, four. You found it? You found it. Good job. One, six, seven. No, not one, six, seven. Let's count it. One, one two, two, three. Do you see a three? Do we have a three gingerbread over there? Look, let's look. Can you see a three gingerbread in the stack over here? Is that three? All right, put it on there. Yes. Nope, which one did we yes. just... There we go. All right, let's see. What number is this? One. All right, can you find a one? There's one. Good uh, I was trying to dig. You were digging? Yeah, I was digging. All right, let's count, let's count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So where's the ten? Good job. Ten. Good job. All right, let's Thank let's count this. Let's let's count this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and nine. Ten. Seven. Seven. Is that a seven yeah. right there? Yeah. All right. So let's count this last one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
One, two, three, seven, eight. Four. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Eight. Yay, he got it all done. Yours, we're gonna do um, fact family. So we're gonna do factors of 10. Can you put your 10 at the top? There you go. So now we're going to do um, find facts of 10s, but that are not doubles, okay? Okay. So let's see. Five. Five. Well, no, five is a double. So let's do... Let's six. find, there you go. So let's find six. And what else plus six will equal 10? So six, six uh -huh. seven, eight, nine, 10. Mm -hmm. So how many is that? One, two, three, four. All right, so four. we're gonna look for the number four. All right, so we know six plus four equals 10. Yeah. Right? Or we could do, or we, could or say, we know 10 minus six equals four. Or 10 minus 4 equals 6. Okay? One more fact. Let's do fact of 9. Let's try 9. Minus 8. All right. So let's see. What number plus what number will equal 9? Can you find those? Okay. Numbers that will equal 9. Mm -hmm. this, is the, this is the one is the easiest tactic, but no, we're not going to use <laughs> you it. You can do it. We'll, what we'll, would it use? we'll do that one and then. That's the easiest. So 8 plus one, 1 equals 9. That's right. And then what else will equal 9? So the one that will also equal nine. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna need. Let me just find something. Mm -hmm. You can use any of those numbers. Mm -hmm. Will equal nine. So if you want to choose okay, five. Hold on. Let me do it. Okay. So put. Why don't you? Why don't you go ahead and put the five down on the on the card. There. We go. Good job. Good job using your head math and counting with your fingers. It's all right to count with your fingers, isn't it? Yep. Yep. So nine plus five. Wait, no. Yeah, wait, hold on. Say it again. Five uh -huh. plus four equals nine. Exactly. And then nine minus five equals what? Four. And then nine and minus four equals? Five. Good job. <laughs> All right, so this is all that you're going to need. You're going to need to print out of a gingerbread template, a pencil, some markers, scissors, brown construction paper, and a poster board. I'm gonna first start by cutting out my gingerbread man template. And simply, I went onto Google and typed in blank gingerbread template, and this is what I found. Um, next, you're going to trace him out onto your brown construction paper. I use five sheets of paper because I am making 10 men two to a page, but again, you can make smaller men and get more on your paper if you want to save paper. But once you have those all traced out, you're going to go ahead and start cutting those out. Do not worry if it's not perfect. It's okay. You know, it's handmade. That's part of the look. But anyhow, cut out your gingerbread man. And once you have them all cut out, you will then grab a marker and then just write the number on them. I am actually going to flip them over to make sure I'm writing on the side that does not have pencil marks on them so you can't see it. I'm just going to go through and number them 1 through 10 because that are um, those are the numbers that we are working on at this time. But again, whatever you're working on, use those numbers. Next, this is an optional step, but if you have a laminator and you want to laminate, you can go ahead and laminate your gingerbread men. Again, you don't have to do this step, but it does make it a little bit easier, um, especially working with little ones that they don't rip or tear them and that you can use them um, next year or whenever or for next another kid. So once you have it all laminated, then again, you're going to go ahead and cut. There's a lot of cutting in um, this activity, but it's totally well worth it. So go ahead and cut out your gingerbread men. And once you have those all cut out, you are then going to grab your template once more and on your poster board, go ahead and trace out all of your gingerbread men. I was able to get four on top and then I did a row of four on the bottom and I placed two in the center. So again, depending on the size of your gingerbread men, you might get them all in one row or however you like, but again, just play around with it, make it your own. Um, once you have them all traced, I'm gonna go through with a brown marker and just trace it so that they're brown, add my dots on them so that they correlate with the number. So again, some have one between one to 10, um, jelly beans or whatever those things are, gumdrops on my 
gingerbread man. And then I think I'm going to add a face to him. We're going to give him a face. So let's give him us a quick little happy face um, with a smile so that he does not look creepy. All right. And once I'm all done with that, I'm going to flip my poster board over and then again, trace my template with my pencil and then go over it with my brown marker. I will then add a few gumdrops, but this is our little number family um, set up for my early elementary students. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, math activity DIY as well as instruction video on how to play this math activity game. Again, you can use it for math. You could even use this for letters with your um, preschooler. You could do something where you're matching lowercase and uppercase. So I would put, say, the uppercase letter on the gingerbread here, and then I would have the lowercase letter on the gingerbread on the poster board. But again, make it work for your family. That's what I'm all about. Do whatever is going to help your particular students because that's what it's all about. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, don't forget to head over to Instagram, guys. That's where I post a lot of our day-to-day -day life as, as well as more homeschool tips and tricks and fun things going on over there. So um, I would love to hang out with you over there as well. So I will talk to you guys in a couple of days. Bye.